Hi, I'm Chris Howard from the Howard Woodwind Company, and today I'm going to talk a little bit in this video about tenon quartz. So uh, the, this is going to be a two-part video. The first of the two parts, I'm just going to talk about a quick emergency repair that you can do to any tenon cork that has come loose or fallen off, and it should get you through uh, the, the few days that you need to get through till you can get it repaired properly, whether you're doing it yourself or if you're going to take it in to, to a technician to have it done. So all you need to do, so this, this tenon cork here on, on this clarinet is if I just put the barrel down, it obviously is, is very loose and there's no way that you're get, gonna get a seal. So if you've got a student that, that keeps squeaking and it seems like all the holes are covered, but you notice that there's some wobble here, maybe check and see if there's, if there's air leaking out through the, the tenon in the barrel or the middle, uh, or the mouthpiece in the barrel. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Teflon tape. This is just the, the plumber's tape that goes over pipe threads. You find it at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you shop for that sort of thing. And I'm going to, since this one is so loose, I'm probably gonna do quite a few wraps on it. So I'm gonna take, I don't know, we'll start with, this is probably about a foot. Obviously the, the uh, the looser the fit, the more tape you're going to want to use. And I'm just going to slowly wrap the tape around the tenon. After you get the first few wraps, it becomes a lot easier. And this is this is definitely a trick I've used myself as a player many many times. Um, it's if you're if you're a clarinetist, it's handy to have a roll of this stuff in your case, just in case you need it. Um, so the end is a little bit loose there, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to press it down as best I can and hold it, grab the barrel, and see how our fit is. It's still pretty loose, but I'm twisting the barrel in the direct. So I wrapped in this direction. So if I twist the barrel in the same direction that I was wrapping, it's going to help kind of secure the tape and have it stick to itself a little bit better. So we're, we're at least not falling on, the, the barrel's not just falling down onto the instrument, but we can probably use a few more wraps. We'll do, I don't know, maybe another six or eight inches of the tape and see how our seal is at that point. Oh, Okay. Twisting the barrel in the same direction that I wrapped the tape. And there we go. The barrel's fairly tight, and I can continue to play my clarinet until I get to the repair shop or until I get to a workbench that I've set up myself to replace the tenon. So now on to part two. We're going to in the event that your tenon cork has completely fallen off, um, incidentally, you know, if it's really an emergency, you can kind of wrap that cork back on there and then wrap some of this plumber's tape around it. But in that case, you really want to get to a shop right away or get the repair done right away. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut away for just a second and completely remove this cork and show you guys how to do the repair how to do a, a complete tenon cork replacement the right way.